Hello, this is Jonathan with Resale World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to push up your second level category to Shopify so that it is a collection. Now, first thing we have to do is explain what a collection is on Shopify. So to do this, we're going to go to the Shopify website in your admin area, and the way we do this is we just go to a new tab in your browser, and we put in your Shopify URL plus the admin uh, tag at the end. So we can do this, I'm just gonna use my own. So for me, it's stateofmindconsignment.myshopify.com forward slash admin. Now in your case, uh, it might ask you to log in. I'm already logged in, so it might just shoot me over straight to my back end. And here we are. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the products menu option towards the left. And then we're going to click on collections. All right. So these are collections that have already been pushed up by my Liberty software. And what is a collection? So a collection is basically a container that holds specific types of items. Uh, these collections can then be set to grab items that are specifically associated with them. So really all that means is it's kind of like a category system. Uh, you push an item up from Liberty to Shopify, it goes into a collection, and then your collections are then linked to your navigation. Uh, this is where people go and, you know, an example collection would be pants and shorts. Another one would be tops. Just keep in mind that Shopify does not care about the Liberty category structure. It's just one-to-one -one ratio. In other words, it's pants and shorts and only pants and shorts. It's tops and only tops. It doesn't care if it's a women's apparel tops. It doesn't care if it's a men's apparel tops. It's just a one-to-one -one creation on Shopify. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go into Liberty. We're gonna look at the category structure and we're gonna kind of see how this all works, basically uh, how, how that second level category in Liberty is gonna flow up as a collection. So for this, we're gonna go into our inventory module, which I already have open. We're gonna go to setup, categories, and then category editor. All right, so from here, you'll see that we have our departments at the very top. Now. Some stores might have a level two category structure and some, some uh, stores will only have a one level. In most situations, we'll probably see a two or a three level category structure. So our top level here is gonna be women's apparel or category level one. Uh, I also have vehicle, um, just a test category here. Um, if we expand women's apparel, you'll see this will be our second level. So with this method of, of us pushing up collections using the second level this is what you're actually going to see flow over into into shopify as collections now keep in mind that you must have an item listed in order for the collections to be created so if i have no outerwear inventory getting listed on shopify i'm not actually going to see an outerwear collection now the moment i push up an item that's uh, listed under outerwear uh, then that collection will be created on Shopify. Currently, there is no way to push up all second level categories as a collection, because if there is no inventory, chances are you're not gonna want your customer to see a blank collection. So for this example, um, I, I already have on our website tops. I also have pants and shorts. Uh, under vehicle, my second level is motorcycle. I pushed that up, uh, or at least I pushed up a inventory item that is a motorcycle. And then under our test two category, I pushed something up uh, under the test two category. So this, this is our second level again. So now if I go back to our website, we can see those collections uh, on Shopify backend. You'll see tops, you're gonna see your test two, pants and shorts, and then motorcycle. All these other ones are just other ones that were pushed up to the website. So how does that translate to navigation? Uh, that, that'll be a separate video going over how to create your navigation. This is typically out of scope uh, for the support department just because there is many different ways that this can be created. And it's usually a design aspect. So I'm going to go to my website. And as you can see, that second level uh, category structure goes over as collections. And then if we drop this down over here, uh, women's apparel, you'll see tops 
pants and shorts, which is what I mentioned before. Under vehicles, you're going to see motorcycles, and under test one, you'll see test two. So if I click on any of these, uh, for instance, uh, vehicles, motorcycles, I'm taken to that collection of motorcycle, and that's the that's the one item that I pushed up to create that this collection. Now keep in mind, again, this navigation bar at the very top does not get created automatically. You actually have to do uh, set up so that you can create your navigation and it actually links to the collections you want. And again, the words on the actual titles uh, of these of these links, uh, you can change them and, and it doesn't matter, they don't have to match the collection name. Um, typically what most stores do is they'll enter one that's called All Collections. And you'll see just every collection on the website, kind of a quick and easy way without having to uh, to create your navigation starting out. So you don't, you're not stuck with people not being able to see all your inventory. Um, I'll show you how to do that in another navigation video, how to create an all collections uh, menu option so that they can see them all right out from the get-go. Apart from that, customers can also click the search button or the search tab here, and they can search for items that they're interested in. So going back to Liberty, we already showed you that second level categories can be pushed up as collections as long as there's inventory listings that are created for them. Uh, so to enable this feature so that it is set up and it's automatically happening, we have to go to our settings area in the listing manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the listing manager. It's a button at the top right corner of the inventory module. And then I'm going to go to settings at the top left and options. We'll go ahead and sign in. Next, we have to go to our Shopify options. And the, the most important option here in order to get your collections to get created off of the second level category in Liberty is this alternate category tag. And if we click on it, we'll get a nice little description of what this actually means. What we want to make sure of is that this is unchecked. And that's actually going to create a collection off of the, the uh, level two. Now, there are some other options that have to do with collections in here, uh, mainly the category level one behavior. So if you want women's apparel and you want everything under women's apparel to actually get featured in a collection or you want to get it tagged, which we'll go over in a separate video, uh, you drop this down and you can actually specify what the category level one behavior is. So it can go up as a collection it can go up as a tag, which will feature later on. And uh, it can also go up as a product type. You also want to make sure that product type is checkmarked as the very first option here. And then we'll click OK. So after I've done that, now my level two category is going to go up as uh, collections once I actually list inventory under those categories. The next video I would recommend you watch is how to set up your navigation so that the uh, collections actually show up on your website. This was a video on how to push up your second level category structure to Shopify as a collection.